everybody, it's Jeremiah, your Aurora, Colorado home inspector with Craftsman Home Inspections. Hey, this tip, your home inspector quick tip, is about utilizing all of your senses. So this is really for um, home buyers. So when you go into a home, you're walking through it, sniff, smell. You know, God gave you that sense for a reason. If it smells too good to be true, it might be. So I was in a house yesterday where when the people did the initial walkthrough, it smelled really great, you know. And then when I walked in to do the home inspection, you know, a week later, it smelled horrible. I walked in, I could smell mold. It's a four letter word. We usually say microbial growth, the possibility of microbial growth, but it smelled like mold and wet and damp and it was humid. The crawl space was incredibly wet and there are tall tale signs of this. When you walk into the house during your initial walkthrough and it smells like incredible and you see air fresheners in every single room, your spidey senses should be tingling. Here's what to look for in that case. On the outside of the house, this was not the house, but it had this efflorescence, this white deposit buildup, literally all over the foundation, on the entire exterior of the foundation. So the house smells too good to be true. You're gonna wanna go outside. You're gonna wanna look for water signs. You're gonna wanna see, is the grading all jacked up? That just means this looks good. See how the ground's sloping away from the house? On that house, it was flat or going towards the house, all over the house, and you had that white buildup all over the house. It's a tall tale sign that there's gonna be some water issues. So, you're gonna to wanna to look for moisture. It smells insanely good, and there's, a, there's an air fresher in every single room. They're covering something up. Could just be cat pee, urine, feces, that they're covering up because they had animals and they've got, um, issues in that in that regard. You wanna ask them about that. Was a cat living here? Was there an animal in the house? Um, or is there a bigger problem? Is there mold, mildew, water issues? Again, you're doing your investigation. Go outside, look at the siding. Again, this was not the house, but look at the siding. Is the siding really messed up? Is there water getting in there? Look at the roof, these are called E's. Are they messed up? Is water getting in there? Look at the, uh, the trim, it's called fascia. Is water getting in the trim? Find out how old the roof is. Is the roof all messed up? So there's a few things you can do to know initially, like should I even put an offer on this house? And if I do, you know, kind of find out what am I getting myself into? So again, you guys, this is your home inspector quick tip of the day. Find out more at Craftsman Colorado, Craftsman Home Inspections, your Aurora and Denver, Colorado home inspector. So again, you guys have a good day. This is Jeremiah coming to you from the beautiful Denver, Colorado. I'm way out east today and got a, got a pretty decent mountain view.